Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video that probably everybody and their mother has wanted to watch from everybody's channel just because it's the the best thing in life right now. And it's just the cream contour and highlighting video. Sorry, apparently I feel like eating my hair today. Didn't eat lunch. Um, side note, just I need to get this out there before we get into the video. Like, this is my crazy lady here. I'm just going to introduce you so, you know, one day when you see it again, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I know what that is. Like, she just didn't do her hair. Like, this is what my hair is just normally. Like, I, like, I go to sleep and if I don't dry my hair, I wake up and most of the time I'll just put it in a bun and this... This is what we have in the morning, and it's just my YOLO hair, you know? My crazy lady hair. Anyway, now that we have that out of the way, today's video is just going to be using um, the cream contour and highlight. What are they? That I showed you on my favorites video. I did, instead of using um, <clears throat> the lighter shade of the LA Girl, I went ahead and used... Um, a Maybelline product instead, not because there's anything wrong with it, just because I happened to grab that instead. But I'll just be going and step by step showing you through um, just how to achieve this look. And like I've said in my previous video, it does stay on my skin all day and I do have oily skin. So if anybody else has that problem, hopefully this works and stays on all day for you as well. So if you want to go ahead and see how to achieve this look, then go ahead and keep watching. And thank you all so much for watching. Bye. So anyway, just getting right into it. I first start off, I don't have any concealer or anything under my eyes, which is why I'm very, very fair and one, I'm like, monotoned right now. So with that, I'm just going to be taking, sorry, everything I'm using right now, nothing has a mirror on it. Okay, so with that, I'm just going to be, um, for my cream today, I'm just going to be using the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline in the shade 15. It's just like a normal doe foot applicator concealer. I've used this once before and it's a good color for my skin. I just, I really prefer the applicator of the the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. It's just got that little like sponge on the end so I feel like it makes it a lot easier for me to actually apply it where I would like it here. So this triangle takes me so much longer now using this. Versus when I was using the, um, the Age Rewind one. So this one I do the same motion, but obviously it takes a little bit longer. It's just going with an upside down, kind of like elongated triangle on the sides here. Um, I do have to go a little bit around my nose here. I can't completely get it right in there. Just because that's where majority like the damage was to my nose. And I don't want to accentuate that. Concealer and the contour. And I go ahead and do that little nose area as well. And I'll just do a little bit up here. Just a tiny bit. Because for me, my makeup seems to break up right here, right here, and right here. So I try not to put too much extra product there in those areas. Or obviously this one kind of unavoidable but in here. Just because it breaks up and I don't like the way it looks at the end of the day. <clears throat> and then before I go ahead and blend anything out, I am going to be using the, the LA Girl Pro Concealer that I was telling you about in my favorites video. In the shade Bronze Goddess, this is, like I said, I believe the darkest color. And I just kind of go ahead and squeeze out a little bit. And I just do a thin line. Obviously, I've seen a million and one different ways of doing this. For me personally, I just do a thin line and then kind of blend it since it is such a dark shade. And I do try and make sure it's at least pretty spot on even. I feel like a majority of the time... There's a slight difference between the sides of your face they're not 100% symmetrical. So I try, try and make sure that they're pretty similar here. I know that a lot of people will do their contour up here as well, but that, um, sorry, the cream contour up there and along the bridges of the nose. Obviously, I don't do my nose for the same reason. I'm trying not to accentuate the, the break right here. And I just do powder up here. I don't mess with the cream contour only because I don't have... I don't feel like my forehead needs to be hidden that much to where the the rest of it is just completely fine with what I do with powder. And then now I'll go in and for the contour shade I just use a fluffy brush. This one is from Morphe and it's the M335 brush and I really like this one for blending that out. Obviously it doesn't do 100% of the blending but it definitely gets it gets it all over. 
And this one, I do stay, like let's say you smile and you have like a line here, I stay away from that. Only because you want majority of the definition and brightness to be in this area. And you don't want to muddy anything around like your, your mouth. I will bring this up just a little bit on the side there. Only so it blends in well with my, the bronzer that I'll use in a little bit. This doesn't get everything, but it just gives you from how fine of a line I did originally to this, that's what I need. And then after I feel like I have enough blended out with that, I'll go in with my beauty blender and do the the lighter shade first, blending that all over. right underneath that little divot in your nose here I probably definitely should not have put mascara on the bottom lashes <laughs> I normally don't do this until I normally don't put mascara on until after my contour and everything's done but you no longer can see my bottom lashes they're completely white so lesson learned there um I will have to go ahead and put that back on and then go up here tap just a little on the center just to open up that face evenly and a little bit here And then once you have that blended out desired, a tear desired lightness, then I'm going to go ahead and work on, with the bottom part of my beauty blender, on the contour shade. <laughs> this one can be stopped at any point in time when you feel like you have the desired shade difference you can blend it out to where it's very very unapparent almost to a little bit more bold and not quite as unblended so this this is where i stop because it's it's a good like natural gold versus you can see the difference between this side blending and this side not um i'm not quite sure if i look nearly as fair as i feel like i'm looking at myself with the monitor right now but trust me i don't look completely like death in real life <laughs> Another thing too, um, cause I normally get ready in front of, like I have a, like one of those ring lighted mirrors type things, the vanity mirrors, and if you look at the light while you're blending that, it'll give you, um, a totally different, um, illusion of the color than when you actually look into it in real light. So what I do is I blend it in there and then I look over to my regular mirror in natural light and it'll show me that it's still a bit too dark. So that's like another tip. So that way when you walk out, you don't have like a big streak because it looks great in the beauty mirror, but then in natural light, it just looks very like bold in a stark, dark line. So that's another trip. And I am right now sitting just in front of natural light. So it makes it easier to see if it's good or not. And that is completely blended out just with the cream shades. And now I'm gonna be going in and doing the powder part to set that. First off, I'd go in with my, the normal, the Sexy Mama from the Balm. And blend that right below the contour shade. On both sides. And then up top. This just really helps me, because I am oily, this helps to absorb any oils that come through throughout the day as well. And then for setting the under eyes, I'm just going to be using the contour palette from Anastasia and Banana, just like normal. I'm going right underneath. Just 
that's the only place I put the banana powder. And then um, I'll just go ahead and grab a big fluffy brush. This is the Sigma um, Buffer F45. And go in with the shade Java. And go right over this a little bit. And up here. Just to warm up your skin a little bit more naturally. Like I said, if you feel like you want to contour your forehead a little bit more, just do the same thing. Bring a tiny little line, buff it out, and then do the exact same method. Now we're going just a little bit down here just to make it a little bit more square. After that, I will be going in with the shade Fawn, which is my favorite contour shade. Just an, a nice cool tone. And going right over that towards the edges for the most part. And a little bit up. Same side. A fiber brush and kind of just blend it a little bit more. This just makes it look really soft and not such a big difference. And then once you have that, just go ahead and put a little bit of blush on. I've been really liking this color from the Lorac Unzipped Cheek Palette in the shade Un Underrated, which is this one right here. It's like a pretty like dusty rose color. And I find always, always, always blush less is more. <laughs> Just add a little pop of flesh to your cheeks. And trying to keep this area open as well here and here. Kind of just keeping this whole weird shaped area open. It's kind of like almost like a Y. And that just brings a lot of light and brightness to your face. And for highlight, I'm using Becca Opal. I did recently start using this again. I went on hiatus for the longest time because it accentuates. If you have any like breakouts or little bumps, it accentuates it like crazy. So... I had to lay off for a while because it's pretty intense. Just go very lightly, even still, right up top. And I always do a little bit up here, too. And then that is it for the contouring part. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my makeup and my bottom eyelashes back on, um, put my hair down, and I'll be right back with the finished look.